and still carrying on with the theme of SWR bridges and this is going into a saga now isn't it um, I'm investigating why the one SWR bridge um, is so horribly wrong with its readings and the other is correct um, as I mentioned before the circuit diagram for an SWR bridge is identical in the forward direction and the reverse direction there's absolutely no difference in the circuit there's a resistor on the diagram known as the terminating resistor and reading up a little bit about it now the, the value of that resistor is not particularly important what is important is that the resistor used in the circuit in the one direction has got to be identical to the resistor used in the other direction that's the most important thing now uh, as you know I've got two of these little uh, I'd almost identical meters so having that information I've stripped one of them and got the old multimeter and I measured the terminating resistors and the one that works perfectly the terminating resistors are identical measurements in one direction to the other absolutely identical but then we come to the other one which I bought brand new which is is wrong which is very wrong with the readings and uh, and this is it I have taken out the terminating resistors at the moment here they are two of them and I've measured them one of them is measuring 100 ohms and one is measuring 180 ohms so they're completely different uh, as opposed to the second meter here where uh, it's, it's more or less identical in design slightly different board but it's, it's more or less identical and, and with this one the resistors are both measuring about 134 ohms each well, the next plan then is to replace these two resistors with a pair which are exactly the same value and we'll see what happens then and I will also demonstrate the uh, the results of the test on the micrometer which uh, had one of the resistors in the micrometer is a, a variable resistor and so you can adjust it to balance the same value as the other one so they're exactly the same value right so I'll get on with it and I'll replace these resistors now and we'll see what uh, what happens next right I have changed the resistors and uh, what I have put in um, because I really don't know what I'm doing do I? I it's all trial and error but I've put in two 150 ohm resistors um, whether I'm right or wrong I don't know but I've replaced both resistors now with 150 ohms and to make it easy on myself I've put them on the other side of the PCB if, I can, if you can see them on the camera I don't know but because they were trapped underneath the uh, PL259 SO239 socket very hard to get at so I took the old ones out and I put one there and one down there which are on the easy side of the printed circuit board because now I can I can whip them out and change them again if I have to I suppose um, but let us see what happens now we've got the uh, system connected up we've got the dummy load on switch it on forward we'll key up and there we are if you can see it we're on the, uh, see if we can position it a bit better for the camera, I really don't know. But uh, there we are, we're on the set. Put the, I've not screwed everything together properly yet. And there's a the reflective, and we've got a, we've got a reading there, about 1.2. Forward and reflected. Now I will reverse the two wires. Because remember, in one direction it was reading 1.8. And 
I don't know what 2 value resistors I should really use. I've used 150 ohms because it was the first thing that fell into my hand. And the article I read said that they're not all that important as long as they're the same. And I've checked them on my own meter and they are both the same. So there we are. We reverse the connection now. Key up. There we're on the set. Put the switch in the other position. And there we are about 1.2. So it's reading it's reading exactly the same now in both directions. Okay. It's not zero. I would have liked it to have been zero, but maybe this is the best we can do. At least it's now consistent, but you, you swap the meter around and it reads the same either way. So while I'm doing this, we'll switch over to the micrometer and uh, see what happens with that. Now we're connected to the micrometer. And it does seem that there's obviously a mistake in the assembly of the other meter. Because resistors are supposed to be colour coded and the colour code for the ones I took out in the old one, let me have a look at them. The ones I took out in the in the meter which was faulty. Was supposed to be a hundred ohms, which the colour is supposed to be brown, black, black, is it? Yes. And what we've got here is one that's brown, black, black, and one that is brown, grey, black, which is a very dark grey. So it would appear that during the assembly they've picked up the wrong resistor, the wrong colour. Simple as that. So it's now reading the same both directions, which they should. Right, my quanta now. Forward, key up. My, my arm's probably in front of the camera. Full scale, there, forward. This is after I've adjusted the trimmer in it. Reflected. Nothing much, as you can see. Not really. Good. Okay, so that's a micrometer in that direction. Now we will reverse the two wires on it, the other way around. So if this works, I will then have three SWR meters, all of which Hello. are correct. They're Stuart. Stuart in Abigale. There's a habit of popping up when I'm, uh, I'm doing things. Too busy to answer you at the moment, Stuart, sorry. We should have three meters that all agree with each other instead of reading one reading in, in the forward direction and one in the reverse. Okay, so now the switch should work the opposite way around. So forward should be reverse, reverse should be forward. So key up. There it is, full scale on calibrate. Put the meter switch in the other direction. Just a slight little movement, nothing much. So there we are. The, all three meters now more or less agree with each other that the, they work uh, one way around, reverse the cables, and they still read very similar. Not absolutely exact, exact, but very, very close. So, I'm happy with that. I don't think I can improve on that. Um, so the little micronta is, is fantastic that there is a trimmer and you adjust the trimmer. And I've done it. So there we are. And the other one that was, uh, that was way out in one direction, it, uh, it's now reading the same both ways. So there we are. I am satisfied. I have now got three SWR meters that do measure SWR and, uh, and not what they uh, 
what they think is SWR.